What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning into today's video. If you're new to the channel, I am Matt Luna and thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new spinning rod in the Unicorn model from Six Sense Fishing. Super excited to get my hands on this rod. I haven't fished it yet, but I'm pretty, pretty confident that this is going to be my brand new favorite drop shot rod. Um, if you've been following my content for a while, you know I've been fishing Six Sense rods for a while. And one of my favorite models is the Unicorn model. They are super light, they are super sensitive, and as soon as I got my hands on them, I would start throwing jigs with them, I start, start throwing Carolina rigs with them. I've even used the seven foot three model as a swim jig rod. And I was blown away by how effective it was to do that. Um, these, these Unicorn rods are the premier rod in the Six Sense lineup. But if you like high-end rods, you want the, the best of the best, you got to get your hands on some of these Six Sense Unicorn rods. Um, I do have a discount code that will help you out with that. My discount code is LUNA10. It's good at the Six Sense website. Make sure to use that discount code if you go to get any Six Sense products, rods, to plastics, to hooks, to whatever. Use my code LUNA10. But let's get into it. Let's talk about why I got this rod and what I'm excited about. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about are the specs on this rod. It's seven foot two, medium light action. It's a spinning rod. The line rating on here is six to 15 pound test and the weight rating is one eighth to three eighth ounce. So as you can see, low line rating, low weight rating. But that's because this is a finesse rod. This is a medium light action, so it's gonna be great for your drop shots, uh, your lighter split shots, lighter Ned rigs. All of that finesse stuff is gonna be great. You, if you're throwing a wacky rig, something like that, this is gonna be a great rod for that presentation. Lighter shaky heads, that quarter ounce divine shaky head, that would be great paired up with the divine shaky worm. You could definitely use it with that quarter ounce weight, light line you know, over rock pile, something like that. That's where this rod's gonna come into play. I got it to drop shot with. That's what I think that this is gonna excel with because these unicorn rods are super light and they're super sensitive. So if you're gonna be drop shotting, a lot of times when it's tough fishing and you got a drop shot, you might be doing it for a long period of time. So you want something light and you want something sensitive to detect those real subtle bites that'll happen when you're fishing a drop shot. So when Six Sense came out with the unicorn model, there's only two uh, rods available in the beginning. One was a seven foot three medium heavy and the other was a seven foot four heavy action and they were both only available in casting models. And as soon as I got those, I started throwing Carolina rigs and jigs and stuff like that, Texas rigs, um, any th anything that I, I knew I wanted ultimate sensitivity with and I was blown away. Uh, they became some of my favorite rods to fish those techniques with and um, I kept wishing that there was a spinning rod in that lineup well, 2021 comes around and they added some rods to that unicorn model. And one of them was a spinning rod. And as soon as I saw that hit their, their store, I picked one up and got it shipped over here and can't wait to get out on the water and go fish with it. So going a little bit further in depth into what, how I'm gonna set this whole thing up. The reel that I'm choosing to put on here is the Daiwa Tatula LT spinning reel in the 3000 series. Um, I was fishing Shimano for the longest time. Everything I bought was Shimano, but eventually I decided to try the Daiwa Tatula SV in the casting reel. And I fell in love with that thing. I'm really happy with it. I ended up buying a bunch of them. You've seen a bunch on my channel. And um, I decided to try a bigger size spinning reel. And since I was liking the Tatula uh, casting reel so well, I decided to give the Daiwa Tatula LT spinning reel a try. And I've really, really liked it. I got rid of everything else and now I'm only fishing with these reels. I have no relationship with Daiwa. I have no sponsorship or anything like that. These are just what I'm choosing to use. They're super smooth. I like that 3000 size. I can pull up a lot of line at one time. These things cast really well. The drag works really well. Make sure to check these out. Um, I do have a discount code for Omnia Fishing, which is where I got mine. It's Luna First 15. It'll work for your first purchase at Omnia Fishing. So make sure to get a bunch of stuff and save that 15% on a big order. Um, that's what I would recommend. So maybe, you know, get this reel, get some line that I'm gonna show you, and then you'll be able to get a good chunk of money off of your purchase with that discount code. So we got the rod, we've got the reel on there. And what I wanna to talk to you guys now about is the line that I'm gonna put on there. Um, this is Seaguar Smackdown Braid in the flash green color in 10 pound test. 
If you guys have been watching a lot of my content over time, you see that I do the braid to fluorocarbon with my spinning reels. I think it's a great way to save money in the long run because you're only using a little bit of fluorocarbon. The braid basically never goes bad. Um, occasionally I'll just change it because it got faded or fuzzy or something like that. But I think that with this SmackDown, I'm gonna be able to even keep it a little bit longer. This SmackDown has like a waxy kind of coating on it. And I think that that's gonna help keep some of that fuzz down. And this 10 pound test, I've actually been using this on some of my other setups as well. I've probably talked about it in some of my other videos, but the knot on this thing is so tiny. And I think that that's really important because if you fish the braid to fluorocarbon, when you cast it, you can hear that knot kind of click through all the different guides. But with this tiny, tiny line, it gives you a tiny little knot and it goes through those guides so much easier than some, some other brands that I've used in the past. And I just think this stuff casts really far as well. I like the flash green. I like those bright colors because I'm able to see it on the water a little bit better. Um, I feel like when I have those greens or, or different colors, I can't see it on the line. So sometimes when you're fishing this finesse stuff, all you see is for the bite is just a little bit of your line just moving just slightly. And I feel like I can see that a little bit better with this green. And I put a long enough leader that I don't feel that the fish see that green line or anything like that. I don't feel like it's impacted me in any of my bites or anything like that. So that's why I go with this green color. So the last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is how to protect your rod. Your rod's an investment. You're buying that rod to help you go out and catch more fish. And there's nothing worse than trying to pull it out of the rod locker, pick it up off the ground if you're shore fishing or something like that, and realizing that they're all tangled up or the guide broke when you're putting it in the rod locker or something. So what I recommend is these six cents rod sleeves. Um, I really like them. All my rods have these sleeves on them. And now they have the spinning, spinning rod size out because in the past, you couldn't get that sleeve all the way down because it was too narrow because it was made for the casting rods. Well, now Six Sense has the spinning rod ones, which is why I'm talking about this, this video with the spinning rod. But these are going to protect your rod. It's made out of neoprene. It has this little rope on it that's going to connect to your reel handle. So if you're a co-angler and you're taking your, your rods in and out of somebody else's boat, you can leave them all all covered up so that way they're not tangling up while you're driving down the lake or if you're a boater and you're laying them up on the front deck you can leave these sleeves on there even when you're driving fast because they aren't going to fly off because they're connected to your reel so no matter how fast you're going you're going to be good to go these sleeves are going to stay on and you're going to be able to not have your stuff get all tangled up breaking guides or anything like that so pick up some of these sleeves. You can get a discount using my code LUNA10 on the Sixth Sense site, but these are gonna be a good investment in protecting your gear. All right, well that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you're excited to get your hands on some of the equipment that we talked about in today's video. I know I'm excited to get this rod out of the water, all this stuff for that matter, out in the water and to catch some fish. But make sure to take advantage of those discount codes that I mentioned. The one for six cents is gonna be LUNA10. The one for Omnia Fishing is gonna be Luna First 15 All this stuff's gonna be down in the description as well. Any questions or anything like that, make sure to drop a comment. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to like it. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're gonna have a lot more content out on the water, tackle making stuff, uh, product reviews, stuff like that on the channel. So st stay tuned for more content coming your guys' way. And I really appreciate you guys watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.